Well, Sky, it's great to have a chance to sit down and talk with you amidst the madness of fight week here in New York City. Just to be here on a stage like this, how good does that feel? Oh, it's, it's hard to put into words. It's uh, very humbling. I feel very grateful to be here. Talk to me about when Eddie gave you the news that you would be fighting on this card and, and what perhaps your initial reaction was as well. I was so excited. Uh, I, I love fighting, obviously, but to fight in New York at Madison Square Garden on the biggest fight card of the year, uh, doesn't get much better than that. What Amanda and Katie are, are doing and achieving this weekend is huge. Do you think perhaps they themselves perhaps don't truly understand just how big this is? I think it's one of those things that uh, it's going to be talked about for decades. Uh, I feel like boxing right now is booming and this is going to be an era that gets talked about in uh, generations to come. So it's very, very exciting to be in the midst of it all. And uh, Katie and Amanda have been trailblazers for women's boxing and uh, I think they'll be able to look back on this night with, with great pride. And as a young professional like yourself, just finding your way in the pro ranks now, someone like Katie Taylor, how big a role has she played in, in inspiring you in what you do in the ring? She's been a big inspiration for me. I've, I've, I've looked up to Katie from a young age. Uh, around 14 years old, I started watching her. And uh, I've always loved how humble she's stayed. She's, she's always stayed herself. She's, she's not changed with, with all of her success. And uh, that's probably been one of my biggest things that I've, I've loved about Katie and watching Katie. She's, she's never changed who she is as a person. And uh, it's definitely something that's inspired me to, to, try, and, to try and do the same thing. And you're creating your own little slice of history this weekend, the first female Australian fighter to be boxing at the Mecca of Boxing in Madison Square Garden. On a personal note, is that a nice little box ticker? So cool. Um, I, I love little things like that. I love uh, writing down a little bit of history, etching my name in history, and uh, to do that for Australia, it makes me very proud. Madison Square Garden as a venue, um, was this the best venue to host a fight like this? What does it mean to box in this place? I don't think it could have been held anywhere else. Um, this is the ultimate fight. Uh, this is so big, not just for women's boxing, but for boxing, uh, for sport. When you're looking at your professional journey so far, two fights in, when you do turn over, it's always a very difficult decision that a lot of thought has to go into. But just being here and being a part of, of nights like this, does that give you comfort that you made the right decision? Absolutely no regrets. Uh, I was skeptical about turning over, but uh, it's been a whirlwind 57 days, going for my third fight in 57 days, but uh, absolutely loving it, soaking up the whole experience and yeah, just taking every opportunity I can and making the most of it. And you've talked about, you know, the want to return to the Olympics one day, but now you've had a taste of life as a pro. Does that desire still burn as strong? Is it perhaps not as strong? I have unfinished business with the Olympics, so uh, it's definitely still on my radar, Paris 2024. Uh, I see myself finishing on the podium there and uh, hopefully we can make it happen. You've been a, a part of the broadcast team on, on a numerous occasions really over in the UK, but to actually fight and make your ring walk in leads in what was a, a cauldron of an atmosphere that night uh, on the Josh Warrington undercard, how special was it to how you'd imagined it would be? It was amazing. Uh, I, I really wanted to box in front of the UK fans and, and what better place to do it than Leeds. Uh, no, it was, it, was, it was so good. I was fighting on the main card as well, so that was another new experience for me. Uh, the atmosphere was unreal and I loved it. it. It it lifts you in a fight. After the fight we caught up and I think you're almost a little bit frustrated with the challenge that Beck had posed to you with, with all due respect to her. Do you welcome the step ups now? Is that, is that the test that you want? I've welcomed the step ups from day one. Uh, I, want, I want girls that are coming in there to try and win. That's, that's where you'll see the best Sky Nicholson. I've said it from the start. Uh, it was a last minute decision to fight in Leeds, so it was hard to get an opponent at the last minute. But uh, I'm learning a lot about the pro, the pro game and uh, I'm learning that I can learn something from, from every opponent and, and in every fight I'm gonna learn something. So uh, I'm trusting my team in, in who, who I fight and when. Uh, we're not in any rush. We're, we're going at the right pace and just taking it fight by fight. Your opponent this weekend, a uh, winning record. Have you been able to sit down with Eddie and, and Paul Reddy and the team and have a little look at her? And if so, what sort of fight are you expecting this weekend? Yeah, um, we've, we've looked at our strengths, we've looked at our weaknesses and, and formed a game plan around that. Uh, she's she's going to be coming to fight, she's going to be coming to win. And that's what I love, can't wait. Two halves to this question then. Short term, 
would you hope to, to showcase on Saturday night? What will satisfy you? Just more of what I've been working on. Uh, 14 years in the amateur system, it, it's not going to change overnight. My style's not going to change overnight. So week by week, we're, we're making adjustments. We're, we're changing my style a little bit. We're sitting down on punches more, uh, developing that power, uh, looking to, I guess, be a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more active, being two-minute rounds, coming from the three-minute rounds. Uh, little changes, bit by bit. So I just hope that I can showcase a bit more of what I've been working on since the last fight. And although you just said you're taking it fight by fight, you're in no rush, of course. Perhaps by the end of 2022, when you're sat down, bringing in the New Year's bells, what, do, what sort of position do you hope to be in at that stage? Uh, we're hoping to be 6-0, and maybe 7-0, and if they let me. I'd fight every week if I could. But um, no, 6-0, and 7-0, and and uh, hopefully in a position to be fighting for a world title. Just finally then, Sky, uh, I don't want you getting splinters here from sitting on the fence. I'm going to try and push you off the fence for a prediction for the main event, Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano. What sort of fight are you expecting? Who do you see winning that fight? Both amazing fighters in their own rights. Uh, I've been a Katie Taylor fan from the start, I'm backing Katie Taylor for the win. I think it's going to be a boxing masterclass from both sides. I think it's going to be a very competitive fight, but I see Katie Taylor stealing it in a points decision. Sky, we can't wait for the main event. We can't wait to see you back in the ring. Pleasure as always. Thanks for your time. Thank you.